Hi everybody, my name is Shika Sooth. I'm originally from India. I got my first degree in India in 1996. I moved to the US in 2000 and I graduated from Boston University in 2003. I worked in private practice till 2010 and I finally opened my own practice in 2010 and um, I have been um, running that for the past seven years. So if I had to um, talk about um, giving some advice for the International Dentist Program, what I had done was I had taken, to prepare myself, I had done the TOEFL, I had done the test of spoken English, I had done the <coughs> national board, some schools require part one, part two. I had at that time when I was applying, I had just done part one and I had applied to schools um, and um, I went for interview where I, uh, where I got my admission for is from Boston. And um, looking back, things that I could have done different um, while ap applying I guess um, I would say I probably should have been a little bit more picky, um, doing doing more research, um, tuition, because tuition is really high, so just kind of um, some state schools have lower tuition, so getting, seeing, um, comparing the tuition, comparing mm -hmm. the programs, and um, just making sure that the school has enough um, patient pool and also enough chairs when you go in the clinic. So doing that kind of research. Um, another thing um, that I wish I had done different a little bit was I wish I had read a few books about um, just the American culture. Um, you know, the more you live, the more in any other place that's not your homeland you'll get to learn the culture, but just kind of reading some books would have given me an idea, a better idea of the culture. That's something that I would recommend is just trying to um, learn a little bit about the American culture, which is a great culture, by the way. And um, the other thing that I would have done different is um, Perhaps I uh, spent more time with my instructors and professors and tried to learn as much from them. Um, not only dentistry that's being taught, but just um, life out of dental school, just learning as much, just hearing their experiences and what they had to, would have had to tell us. Um, I think I missed out on those opportunities. Um, was um, trying to learn as much from people around me about what to expect after I graduate from dental school. So that is one thing I would have done different if I had to go to school again. The other thing um, that I would have done different is probably not being so focused on getting my requirements out of the way of my exams and again not to say you know in school you have to focus on all that stuff but again trying to do as much dentistry trying to get as much as you can from the program um that you're in there because advanced dining program if you're in advanced dining program unless things have changed it's already a condensed program so it's pretty um there's a lot going on while you're in school but just trying to get as soak as much in while you are in school I am glad that I did pursue my career after moving here. I'm glad that um, I was able to go to school, which enables me today to um, fulfill my dream of um, running a practice. It's a very, very, very rewarding experience to be having relations with your patients, having relation with your employees and making, hopefully making a difference in a small way in their lives. So it, it is a very rewarding profession and we are in a great profession and, um, you know, we are in a great place. 
um, to be able to pursue that too. So I wish you all the best in your journey and um, enjoy it. Thank you.